I've done one thing, and that is I, uh, after yesterday, yes, I'm going to be dual boxing again. Not display capture, bro, and you want window capture. This thing here is now a, a flycatcher, yeah? This flycatcher that we're going to be running is going to be like this. Uh, twice as tanky, basically. It is, uh, yeah. It's just there to, to be fucking tanky. It's literally twice as tanky, albeit a lot fucking slower. It's not going to be nearly as fast at warping around, pinging and ponging. And there were kills we got us, because of the speedy saber. I'm a little crybaby. Don't do it, dude. Oh, yes, you are, actually. You are a little crybaby. You have a little, little nine-month crybaby badge. <laughs> Thank you for the ten month. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Endless streaming fun, I do a fleet today, maybe. Kill marks on that. Uh, we are currently sitting at uh, 12. Now, funny thing about kill marks. Let me show you another thing here. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba 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 Display. If you look up just the panther... Oh, fuck. If you look up just the panther itself, like the ship, I'm currently sitting in first and th the fourth. So I kind of want to get myself to first and second, so I need to... I'm on Bjorn B now, I just need a few kills to knock Dextra off second place, right? I don't know who Ajax is, but he's going to go to fucking fourth, alright? So we're going to go put ourselves into first and uh, and second place. As long as Dextra doesn't get a kill and push Romantic down. So we should be... Yeah, let's go, let's go do that. Before Dextra logs in. Dwayne Zero. Check out in the middle over here. I'm guessing this Ishtar is also tethered over there. It's not. I'm guessing Dwayne is a cloaky that's going to sit next to that Ishtar. Could that be the case? Yeah. Alright, so they're going to bait me in the SRU. Got it. Let's, uh, let's get baited. Plus another one. Dwayne and Weform Blob came in as well. They also picked a site that was very like simple to, to go to. Let's see what they bring. Panther, Ishtar. You got scrambled. It's 150 off. Interesting. So he has actually been ratting in here. Don't know if he's actually scrambled or if he's just fucking debating. We are currently burning at him. We're 120 kilometers away from him. Pinging back and forth would have been 12 AU, so I'm just going to burn instead. And see what happens. My prop mod is at 60% damage now, I think. I'm 84 off. Uh, he, no, he's already warped. I don't know why the fuck he was so far off, dude. He was sitting 150 off the site. 150 kilometers off it. Wrap, wrap, and wrap. Unheat this. There's an Ocader on scan. Possibly on my next gate. Or tethered on the thing. Turns out there's an Ocader just sitting here. Cancel repair. Approach. Alright, well, we're going to be landing on an Ocader. It's a little bit spooky if I'm actually honest with you. Uh, overheat prop button burn away. Lock up. Get ready to MGD if we have to. There's the Manticore, there's the Scram. Could feel it. Could feel it. All right, let's see how far we got from this Manticore. Wait with a shot, wait with a shot, wait with a shot. Three, two, one, pop. Missed the shot. Holy shit. Panther 6k away, I'm pointed but not Scrammed. Fuck me, dude. Oh, it scrammed me last second. No, but it didn't. Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> I 
close call. Well, I went for the, the bait and then uh, didn't die apparently. Let's warp this fucking thing off too. Make a safe. <laughs> brown pants moment, chat. Absolute brown pants moment. Fucking scrammed you. I know, dude. Except I was uh, out of range and the survey tick showed that I was scrammed right afterwards. Dude, the way you parked the... Uh, and where you parked it was fucking beautiful. The way and where you parked that... Like, you knew exactly which range I would go to with that manticore. It was, like, super fucking well done. I'm, I'm like, impressed how beautifully well done that was. Close this. Make a safe. Good fight, my dudes. Make a safe here. Wrap this up. All right, let's go see what kind of hits we took there, because those were some scary fucking hits. Sometimes server takes fuck you, and sometimes they, like... Can someone clip, go back and clip it? I want to see exactly, because it looked like I got scrammed again, but then I'd already MGD'd, so the scram actually showed up. Just like sometimes... You lock something and point it, and you have picture lock, and, like, you even have, like, module activation... But the server thinks, oh no, this is what has actually happened. Gacko abduction up. I mean, I fucking take the Gaccos. I'd rather not have the Gaccos and still have the ship, though. Wanna wrap on our astronaut? No, I'm, I'm, I'm good, dude. I think I'm just gonna chill and fill them and out later. But, but I appreciate it, man. I give you ACL if you wanna wrap up. I'm not gonna be a cunt. Um, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Yeah, last ba, ba, sub. Ba, ba. Missed you, B. I don't know if uh, if uh, if I should just continue like this. This could cost me my ship. I know. I know. I know. I know. I think you're actually like the chance of you disabling it during the warp is unlikely. I'm gonna trust you. No worries, been watching. Nice vids, Pog. Thank you, man. Chronix, thank you for the 4 my 3 sub, dude. Tess is still recovering from losing his Panther. He's lost two the last two days, man. He's gotten unlucky, though. He deserved to live after that escape. I mean... Deserve to live. We are tethered. We're going to get our stuff wrapped up. You could flip that and say they deserve to catch me after that, like, beautiful way of baiting it. Especially having that, that Manticore be at range. Thank you for the, the reps. I appreciate it. It's nice of you. Uh, this thing here is currently sitting at 12 kill marks. I was hoping the Aquity would be the 13th. That ended it up not to being the case. I was the bummer. I just grabbed for a second earlier. I think I would have had you. Yeah, for sure. Did you intentionally warp it to 10 or did the bubble catch you? Because Chad is not sure about it. If you intentionally warped it to 10 and you were sitting there like that. <laughs> fucking devoter shows up. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I mean, once I'm tethered, I'm tethered, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> sus. <laughs> Real fucking sus. <laughs> uh, hmm, devoter. <laughs> you can't break someone's tether once it's tethered, right? Yes, a devoter shows up. Real fucking sus. Uh, check the clip. In a second, let me get wrapped up, get back to my safe and chill. I feel uncomfortable with that devoter. Location safe, align two. Thanks for the wrap up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off this grid right now. <laughs> you can't bubble though yeah but then i can still burn around grid right and just mjd out in the direction and warp off like there's not because i have an mjd it's a different story right thank you francis move out yeah, yeah, yeah 
I should not have any like access to people's structures and things. Pando once thought it was a great idea to give me access to their jump bridges up in Fountain. And I was like, are you sure about that? So I was just like streaming myself going through jump bridges, just killing things. And he was like, hey, so if you catch a freighter, can you not kill it? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm probably going to try to kill it, Pando. You should probably just not let me go through your jump bridges. Thanks for the wrap up. That might save my ship later. Check the clip. All right, we have ourselves three minutes, 48 seconds. Let's go check it out. I'm going to mute it. We're just going to watch it. So I've burned over with Flycatcher. Flycatcher is scramming him. I've double bubbled. He decloaks here. He's not at the edge of the bubble. He's not at the edge of the bubble in the, in the Manticore. I don't think. Nope. He double close right there. So he warped to gate at like five or something. I'm not sure. Ten and then he burned closer. He burns with me too. And please notice this. He doesn't just decloak. He decloaks and burns in that direction too. Right? But he doesn't go over 500. So he carries a little bit of momentum with me here. I make sure I don't shoot that fucking Ocader. You can see the line where he's pointing me from. So I can't shoot the Manticore right now. I frantically left click, hoping that the speed's gonna coast me further. I see the sign obviously go up. I see a whole lot of shit land and I'm like, well, I'm dead. I go for the shot there, hoping I could break the scram, even though it's not a perfect trajectory at all. It's quite far from it, actually. Here. I'm at 9.5, an overheated scram would have held me here, I think. No, I'm already, next server ticket's like, no, you're at 10 kilometers. This panther, though, 5.6, he has a long point. Watch Maka point me now. I start MGDing. I've got damage on the Manticore. I've just completely ignored the Ocader here. I get pointed, I get webbed by uh, white, not Maka. I'm starting to wrap as well because I'm taking a shit ton of damage, right? Right now. What happens right now when your your MGD ends? Because the game works in these like server ticks, it might look fluid, but it isn't when it comes to the technology of how the actual game works. Because we're working on like one second interval server ticks with like fake fluidity in between. Right now that it my client has told the server, uh, I'm 100 kilometers that way, right? That is what I've, my client has told it. It's like, it's finished MJDing, MJD happens, right? The MJD, that's the effect you're seeing. But at the same time, the scram pops up. And at first second, I'm like, ah, I got scrammed. But the effect has already happened. So even though I look like I'm still here, it goes boink and teleports me to where I should be. Because the server now goes back, no, wait a minute, you're not here, you're already MJD, so you're actually there. So I got fucking lucky server take wise We're talking like a second earlier, if they could have locked me a second earlier or scrammed me a second earlier, it would have broken my MJD and I wouldn't have been able to get away here. I'm also not repping at this moment. Boy, am I lucky these guys are not already fit. If they were already fit, I would have been deleted, dude. <sighs> M2 all over again. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Thanks for clipping that. I appreciate it. I triple blocks most of my time in one whole space, and I discovered I'm getting too old for this shit. I'm really enjoying doing this, though. There's a... Uh... I think it was in the episode five. The I, I uploaded three videos this morning. And I believe it's in the episode five. It's the first kill that we got. Where we got a, uh, what you call it? You are amazing. A VEDMAC. And the only reason we got that is because of having that, uh, that extra thing. The extra bubble. It's a Garber, Myrmidon, and Osprey here. I kind of want to go dumpster these dudes. Uh... You guys want to see a, a smack in the back of his head? Watch this. Jump through. Prop and cloak. Please. Fingers crossed for a good spawn here. They have a lot of drones out. 
Where's a little fucking cloak to those drones, isn't it, chat? Uh, cloak. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> cloak and burn back. <laughs> that was fucking monk ass close, dude. Alright, we're gonna burn away. We're gonna decloak here. We're gonna lock up the Garmer. This is gonna go on. Hornets out, please. Three, two, one. Delete. Not delete? Oh, what the fuck? Delete us? What happened? Myrmidon, Osprey. Could lock up these and these. Is he just not moving or what's he doing? Okay, I need to actually manually take shots here. Uh, I might just go for the uh, the other stuff instead. Go for the Osprey. Stop shooting for a second here. Approach. Lock, lock. Slow down. Yeah, Vlas sub. We're buzz go hammer, buzz GAP. This fucking Garmer. And we're gonna hit him in three, two, one. Fucking missed again. What am I doing, chat? What in the fuck? I can't hit him. I can't hit him. All right. He's just gonna loop the loop around here, huh? Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. He's gonna go loop. I'm gonna line to the left. He's gonna finish his loop, and we're gonna hit him. Watch this. Things coming. Three. Two. One. Now. Oh, what the fuck, dude? All right, we'll do it next clockwork. Next clockwork. Next clockwork. We'll get him. <laughs> God damn it, dude. What in the hell? Wait for it. 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 <laughs> Three. Two. One. When the clock strikes. Nine. What the fuck? I can't hit this dude. I swear to God, man. <laughs> what the actual fuck? Oh, you know what? We might just uh, we might just go for the other one. <laughs> we just go for the merm. <laughs> this is pathetic. <laughs> you need the scrab. I could go for the scrab. I could go for the scrab here. All right, we got the scrab on him. But he's like blooming his signature that way, right? I still can't hit the guy. I cannot hit the guy. Alright, you know what? Do I continue or do I go for the do I go for the other guy? Does it go for the merm? I'm super worried about him suddenly burning for us now. I'm just gonna go for the merm. Something I can actually hit. <laughs> oh no. What am I doing, dude? Lock up him. Lock up him. <laughs> This is so pathetic. <gasps> oh. Let's see if the Osprey comes back down, yeah? We're gonna try and bump the room off. Just a slight. Just a tad. He still hasn't burned for us. I don't know what he's doing. I know I'm shooting the guy with EM. But I also would like to have a... Uh... I think he's burning something closer. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> I cannot hit this fucking Garber. Alright, we'll give it one more shot, chat. We'll give it one more shot. He's burning this direction. Three, two, one. I, I cannot hit him, dude. I cannot do it. I swear to God, this guy's actually a magician, and I just can't hit him. EMP is not meant to be this, this terabad. It's meant to actually do it. <laughs> hey, pure and fear. Oh, okay. I might have to go for something else here. I might have to go for like depleted uranium or something on this guy. Stop shooting. Props on. Watch me hit him now because he's actually burning. Nope. Still, I, I cannot hit this guy for the fucking life of me. Like literally impossible, chat. Approach. He has to be AB fit. It has to be. Right? 
There's no way this guy is like dodging all this without being AB fit. It has to be an AB fit one. I had him scrammed. We're gonna go for a hit right now. Apparently don't have him locked even. Bit to the left here, bit to the left, bit to the left. Now. Finally, chat! Holy fuck, it's taken eight years! I will get him. I will get him. He's slowing down. No, he's not. He's not. He's picking up speed. I missed him again. He's gone. He's absolutely fucking... Is that a Tanaman AB afterburning Garmer? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's the last one he lost, which was a 1MN. Does a 1MN afterburner really take him that fast? 2K Jagant? I was so certain that this guy was just gonna get one shot. <laughs> I ended up taking like 18 shots at him. One man snake with links from Mern possibly. Now though an overdrive. All right, the, I learned something new today. <laughs> Next time I see a Garmer, I'm just gonna go for a Sabo or uh, depleted. Plus two in system. Both from this gate that I'm currently on. One of them is that Scolius guy. Then there's the Eris. This guy's warp enough. And a bubble on this side. We're gonna jump through. Probably gonna push them through as well. Only two people so far. It's one crazy uh, Malediction and Eris, though. They said we're going to burn back. Prop's going to go on. Now, I'm landing inside of a bubble that I made myself. And I believe once we get there, it's going to be an Eris and a Malediction on scan. We're going to see them in now. Yeah. We're also in a bubble on this side. And we are going to orbit this gate at 500. Malediction is a little spooky. It could be a very, very quick malediction. Malediction is not there, but the Eris is. Eris jumps. We're going to jump. On this side, we're going to pre-overheat this and this. And we're going to try and get ourselves closer to this, uh, this Eris boyo. I believe we have Scram on the guy now. We are now going to cloak, prop. And then we're going to decloak, lock up the Eris, get some warriors out, and just try to focus on actually hitting this guy. He's burning down to my right now. Don't think I'm going to hit this shot, because he just turned. Is he orbiting me at 500? He might be. I'm going to start burning away. Now this guy here actually ends up turning. He's going to end up turning the same direction here. If I burn away with my ult, and then I turn this towards him, I should hit the guy in three, two, one. There we go. And then we can cloak this and burn this away, right? Good shit. Scolius is the other guy. I'm going to pull a little bit of range here. I'm going to decloak him now. And we're going to see if Scolius wants to burn first, yeah? Probably does. 64. 63. He's taking a right here. 3, 2, no. Alright, decloak yet again. I'm going to pull my own drones in again. Reconnect. Let's get these drones back, please. And let's pull this guy away. Let's check out the kill as well, once we get it. He had a medium. He did drop a bit of paste. Let's pick up the paste, shall we? You're We're one of us it. now. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need that past the chat. Wrap this. Pull these in. Cloak this up. And uh, get that. 
and actually more bubbles. Yeah, hell yeah. It wasn't a 1400, it was a 800 millimeter. I saw he shot the uh, the saber once. He shot the saber once. We're gonna get into warp on this character. We're going to cloak it up. Sorry, we're gonna bubble it up on the other one. Slow down the Varger. I think it is the uh, system, 8 SPN. This system has an Aries on the gate itself. We're going to burn it back. We're going to bubble him up real quick. We're going to scram this Aries. There's a Brutix and a Caracal coming. Okay. Do you want to stick with this? Yes, yeah, sure. Yes, sure. Seems to be a pretty big, uh, big gate, though. We're going to overheat this. No, we're going to orbit this gate here at 500 and hope for the absolute best here. On this side, we're going to burn away. What is the Aries doing? Aries is not moving too fast, is he? Cloak prop. We're going to hope for the best with this character. This on. Lock, lock, lock. We're going to slow it down here. Get warriors out. I'm going to go for the Aries in just a second here. Aries is now burning for us. To my right. Ugh, I'm not going to hit him. Shouldn't have shot. Shouldn't have shot. Try and orbit 500. Try our best to get the guy through. Is that the uh, the Varga coming through? Don't shoot again. That is the Varga. Varga's gonna fucking owe me, chat. Oof, but we hit him. But we hit him. But we hit him. Alright, we're gonna jump through with the bubbler. We're gonna MJD off here. We didn't get the kill. Uh, that is going to be the Varger. We're going to kite off here. Try and get a bubble back. Bubbler is going to go back to gate here right now. He's going to cloak and prop. Varger is not hitting. Varger is burning at 880. Varger MJ deed. Good stuff. Overheat this. I'm going to try and tank the Varger 800 millimeters for just a little bit. And try and get back to the gate to where I can dick around with the caracal and stuff. Stop running this. Burn back with this, Bjorn. Burn back with this. Caracal at 105. Stop running this, please. Jump through. Varger at 94. He can MGD again very, 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 very soon. Need to be very careful about the MGD capabilities of that guy. And we are going to volley this guy here in 3, 2, 1. That was a pretty bad hit. He's going to MGD here any second. I can feel it. Any second. He should have MGD ready now. He's not moving fast, though. We're going to bubble. Go past this guy here. Got another hit on him. At least I'm 120 away from this guy now. Stop running this place. I'm going to try and drive by this Caracal if we can. I just want to try and focus on the Caracal. So, to go for the Caracal of this guy, we'd have to go back again. Brudix there. He just got away, Chad. That was bad. Um, I'm going to ping off the Saber. It's going to go on again. I was going to go for longer range. Varg at 150, I'm okay with. I believe this guy's pinging off. We're going to get a decent hit here. I really should reload to uh, to something else, though. Varg is going 7 meters a second, so that's okay. Caracal's burning down. There's a Hecate, Darien. We don't have any combats out on us. Two bubbles out, though. We should get another hit here for 2,900. We're back to Bjorn B here. He's going to bail. Let's see what the Hecate does, yeah? Let's see what the Hackity does. I'm real worried about this Varga just MJD and constantly onto us, though. That is a very scary thing. This guy's 170 off. Let's quickly go ahead and load some fusion. Approach. Cloak. The cloak. Warp. And then also same thing with this. 
with this on targeting range. Bubble going up and pop. Good hit. Not going to be enough though. Not going to be enough. BRB need refit. 10 out of 10. Varga, by the way. MJD and Varga is scary, man. I thought you were going to keep ping ponging between me and catch me. Dude, this fly catcher is kicking ass, dude. Look at the region on this fucking thing. It went down to basically nothing a second ago. It is so much better than having the saber. Like, sure, I didn't get anything finished there, but I mean, it was two caracals of Varga and then uh, a couple of light tackle stuff. It's kind of nuts that it didn't die. We're going to land. Pop this up. Jump this through. How many bubbles do we have left? 30-something and then an anchorable bubble too. Got it. Bubbled a lot today. We're going to be landing inside of a bubble here, possibly with the Varga. I'm going to go for EMP in case that Caracal chases. The Varga is going to be in the bubble itself. Caracal, there's another Flycatcher coming too. Two Caracals. Jump, jump, jump. We don't have a bubble on the other side. I'm going to try and one-shot the Flycatcher or maybe some of the Caracal stuff. There isn't much else we can do. I'm going to try and go back to VK here. All right, 8 SPN, sorry. On this side, we've got the Varga there. I'm going to cloak. Burn off. Twenty-five, twenty-eight. I need to get like 60 from him and then go in a different direction because he's going to MGD towards me, right? Slow down here. Bubbler lands. Bubbler bubblers. Now we need to turn this on. Lock up the flycatcher. Quickly look at him. He's going to MJD. Shoot the flycatcher. Lock up the caracal. He doesn't actually MJD, interestingly enough. Jump through the alt. There he goes. There goes that Varger. Watch me trade his place. <laughs> boing and boing. <laughs> he jumps, I jump. All right, we'll go for this caracal now. <laughs> No! <laughs> Sorry, I just used my brain. <laughs> Hit this caracal. Prop on again. Let's get my own bubbler through if I can. That was a 5k hit on that caracal. Take a bit of a left turn here. He's gonna bail. Bubbler comes back in. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> <sighs> Bird back to this caracal. See if we can volley this guy here for 2k. Burn it back. Bubble it up. He's gonna bail. Okay, I can't really do much here. Can't do much here. Cloak burn and get the bubbler out. Hey, stop it. This flycatcher did nothing to you, dude. Leave him. <laughs> it's just sitting there regening. <gasps> Bro, the flight catcher's busted awesome. Holy fuck. Did they change the fact you're going to be able to use T2 ammo? Yes. Did you look at the flight catcher in your channel? Yes, I can do that. I had it linked there earlier. The flight catcher I'm currently using is. This. Is that from our gate? Fuck it, I don't know. No more she emote. No, I took it off. It's been gone for a while. <laughs> In a VTAC LEK to the K7 gate. There's a shuttle coming. Can't do much about that. There's a coercer coming. 
I wonder if I got the bubble up before the core she took the warp. Uh, we're gonna find out. <laughs> Hello there, little partner. Little brave boy, I believe in you. And pop. And we got him. Nice! <laughs> uh, gate camping viewer. Nice. Wait a plus one. Bubble up. It's a cryos. <laughs> Approach. Prop. Second bubble. Scrap. Bumped off gate. Get back closer again. Approach again, please. Approach again. Got him. <laughs> you will never catch me, Dexter. I will gate camp my way to victory. <laughs> the biggest play, chat. The biggest play. He is going up with that capsule to there. Scram that capsule and pop. Good stuff. There might be an Ocator coming. And a Caracal. Interesting. Caracal's definitely on scan. Yep. This on, this on. Lock this guy up. He's actually aggressed. We're gonna decloate this guy, warrior's out. This guy's actually aggressed. And he's burning towards the gate now. Nothing else crazy on scan. Orbit 500. Get a bubble on him. Second volley here was pretty good. Nothing crazy on scan. There's still an Ocator in the system. I mean, look at us just tanking this thing. Why is this... Why is this ship so good? Why is the Flycatcher such a broken fucking strong ship, though? Holy fuck, it's good. And he gets deleted in three, two, one. Goodbye. Lock this, lock this, approach. Scram. Stop this ship, please. He's not moving. Nothing's on scan. Got a scram on the pod. The pod's not moving. And gone. Turns back in, please. Back on the gate. Reload. Scram 50 plus? No. I will right, we'll look at it in a second. Let me burn away from this Xena guy. Cloak. Burn. I'll enter there. Harpy's going to try and get himself close to us. 1500. A little too close for comfort here. 14, 27, slowing down, 38, is he going to make it back or is he going to turn back around towards us? I don't think he's going to make it here. No, he's burning back again. Is he burning towards me? He is burning towards me. And pop. In it for 3,800. Ah, I picked my shot, chat. I picked my shot, but I couldn't finish it. Fuck! Almost had you, punk. All right, let's look at the big butthole, chat. Drone's back in. Hold on, I need to ping off something. Being shot by rats. So close. Yeah, I know. Sure is a nice one, I know. These guys will chase for a kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course he got the fuck out after the volley. Drones route. <laughs> Please be don't get enough credit. Cloak and prop. 
And there she is, chat. The Pool of Radiance. This is one of the uh, visual updates that they had, I believe, earlier this year. We came and looked at this the other day. I'm sure some of you didn't see it, though. Uh, but I think it's a giant radiation pool. Can we touch it? No, it's pretty far away. It's, uh, it's all the way... We're in this system, we're seeing it here, right? It's one of these, like, in-between thingies. I don't know if you can see it from, like, other places, but you can see the best from this system here, 6QB. If I quickly get to, uh, check this again. Refreshing Z kill, see if anyone pushed me off it. Refreshed, I'm still at top 23 on Bjorn B now, 22 on Romantic. This is just the Panther itself. So I'm top character for the week on two different characters, chat. I've been panthering my life away, chat. Feels good, man. 